Hey everybody, welcome back to Cooking with James. I'm your host, James. Now it's been quite a long time since I've put out an air fryer video uh, for you guys, but this is actually gonna be an unboxing of a new air fryer. I still have my Power Air Fryer Oven Elite, and it's been a year, still use that thing constantly, but um, this new air fryer is a Power Air Fryer Pro, and it's also a 10-in-1, just like the Power Air Fryer Oven Elite. And on Black Friday, they're having a, a, a sale at uh, around KVC, and I was flipping through the channels and seeing Power Air Fryer, Super Duper, something or other, and I was like, uh, for 100 bucks? Yeah, and first thing uh, first, it does come with a one-year warranty, so that's that's amazing right off the bat. So anyway, let's go ahead. The box is kind of big. Let's get it over here, take a look at uh, what it comes with. Okay, here's the box. I have a big old box, straight from QVC anyway. So open it up, I already took the tape off. Just gonna open this thing up here, and right off the bat, um, just like the Power Air Fryer Oven Elite, it does come with these uh, cookbooks, I think there's like 60-something recipes or something in there, and the, the manual, all that stuff, of course, to get that. And I did mention, remember, it does come with a one-year warranty, so that's freaking awesome. Uh, next thing up here is this, which that's just for taking out um, like the rotisserie and stuff. I'll show you that here in a minute. A lot of this stuff is looking very similar to the Power Air Fryer Oven Elite, like exactly the same. Um, over here, got your spit, your rotisserie spit, and uh, two attachments. That's to obviously attach all your uh, your, your meat. You know, goes along. I'll show you that here in a minute as well. So it comes with that. Um, a power cord. All right. So this part might take a minute because this box is pretty big. This is coming out. Um, you can see there's obviously the air fryer. So I'm actually just gonna take this out of the box. So I'm not gonna bore you with all that. I'll be right back in a minute. Okay, so we've got it out of the box. It comes with this little cellophane type stuff over the top. <clears throat> and should be facing you guys. There it is, the new handy dandy Power Air Fryer Pro, which is also a 10 in one, <clears throat> like the Power Air Fryer of an Elite. So, let me get this plastic out of the way. Okay, so now we've got it out of the plastic. Um, there's a little bit of tape down here just to hold the doors together. Let me get around here to the front. Take this tape off because there's something inside. And like the Power Air Fryer Oven Elite opens this way, where these Power Air Fryer ovens open more like a traditional oven. So inside now on the, on the infomercial is pretty cool because um these are actually cooking mitts i'm gonna open these up real quick yeah nice little cooking mitts so you get those a pair of those um there's also this little stand here um just for holding your meat or whatever i don't really like it anyway it comes with that um the next thing down here is your drip tray um, non-stick drip tray that goes on the bottom and you do get three air fryer um, <clears throat> flow racks you get three of them and these are the same as the power air fryer oven elite and I've been using that the well, actually it's over here but I, for a year and they're still awesome they don't they haven't broken or anything so i'm assuming these are going to be the same quality so and you get three of those and yeah some cardboard so that's pretty much what it comes with and i also can't stress enough it does come with that one year warranty so i'm gonna bring it down we're gonna take a quick look inside okay so here's the inside it's uh pretty simple it's just right here and obviously your window that closes um that went that uh let me see here i don't know what that is i'll have to check that out see if that's part of like a an oh i think it's an anti-locking system or uh where you can set it down because the door moves side to side oh i see the door comes off 
Oh, you can take the door off for easy cleaning. Let's see how easy it is to put back on. Hey, that's pretty simple, pretty handy, pretty cool. All right, so <clears throat> that's something we just figured out. So, I mean, it's pretty basic. You got your three, there's three uh, little things in here for your actually, put the drip tray in first. I just goes on the bottom, and then you got your three racks. You go right in there, and there's a little thing for rotisserie right here. Um, I can show you that. And then you get your three racks, and up top here, it comes with a splash guard because the heating element is up top. So if you're cooking something like bacon or cheeseburgers or something like that that might splash grease, this will help prevent that getting on the heating element. So it's pretty basic, pretty simple. This right here, this red button, is for the rotisserie. You pull this and there's a little uh, black button or in the back here. Um, but I can show you that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and just close this up. We're going to turn it on, see what it sounds like, see if there's any noises or anything like that. We'll be right back. All right, guys, so we, uh, we plugged it in. I mean, I can't really see that well, but there's a blue light right here that's lit up. I got my light over here, it's gonna block anyway. So we're just gonna turn it on. All right, so just like the Power Air for our Oven Elite, it starts at 370. Let's see if it starts at 15, yep, starts at 15 minutes, just like the Power Air for our Oven Elite does. And you can either press the button to turn it on or in about five to 10 seconds, it'll turn on by itself. I'm just gonna wait to see if it turns on by itself. Um, okay, maybe that's because that's something I know people didn't like about the Power Air Fryer Oven Elite is that if you hit that power button in about between five and ten seconds, it automatically turns on. This one doesn't, so I guess I, I like that better. I do like that better. So we're going to go ahead and press the button again, see if we can get it to turn on. There's the fan light over here. And... Man, it's pretty dang quiet. Yeah, absolutely. So um, let's hit the light button, see if the light works. Oh yeah, the light works. That's awesome. This thing is brand new and shiny. I like it. You know what? You know what? I actually got my Power Air Fryer Oven Elite right here. I am going to compare the racks for you just to see kind of if the racks are the same size, let me grab that real quick. Okay, guys, I've been, I actually let this thing run for 30 minutes. Um, and then while I was doing that, I went out and uh, read the manual and it was just like I thought. So anyway, um, that's what we'll talk about here in just a minute. But I got that rack and this is my Power Air Fryer Oven Elite rack. And look at that. They are exactly the same. Go figure. I think what they did is they just, um, this that is the Power Air Fryer Oven Lita. I, just, I think they changed a few things and um, yeah, the, you know, the design and the 10 one was the most important. The one year uh, warranty was important. Um, but you know what? That's pretty much that. Now let's check out the interface real quick. <clears throat> All of the presets are the same as the Power Air Fryer Oven Elite. From the dehydration button, which is here, you got your presets for fish and pizza and all this stuff, it's all the same. Everything is exactly the same. So this is just my first look um, at it, but um, I'm gonna bring you right back because I got one more thing that I really wanna talk about. And this is something that was brought up the most on the Power Air Fryer Oven Elite. Uh, the most questions I got um, on it. So I'm gonna be right back and I will address that. Okay, so there is the unboxing, uh, what you get and whatnot. Like I said, I do love that it comes with a one year warranty. When I originally bought the Power Air Fryer Elite, it did come with a one year warranty, but then people were trying to buy it and they weren't offering it anymore. So um, anyway, that's a great plus. I don't see right from the get go any difference between the two, but Here's something that on my that I got a lot of on the Power Air Fryer Oven Elite, and it's the same on this. Is when you first get it, um, don't open it up and throw your food and start cooking. You're gonna get it's a chemical type smell. 
and people are, you know, were just left and right. Actually, I will leave a, um, a link for both of my reviews. The, the first review for the Power Effort Oven Elite and a six month review. Also check those out. I mean, they're I, pretty much identical except a little bit different design from what I can see so far, but I'm gonna go in depth further um, with these two and uh, and check it out. But anyway, the chemical smell is what I got the most of. And when I started up, it smells like something's burning or whatnot. So what that is, is the factory puts a little coat of oil and some of the stuff to kind of protect the metal and all that stuff. Now that needs to burn off. So while I was letting this run for 30 minutes, <clears throat> I was reading the manual and it's the exact same on the other one. Um, let's see, I'll find it here. Um, anyway, it will, all it says, what it says, it says run it for a few minutes and then wash all the parts with uh, warm soapy water. Rinse them off, put it in, that should be good. I did that on the Power Air Fryer Oven Elite. What I found worked, do that for sure, but also, you know, throw, throw some bacon in there, you know, get seven, eight strips of bacon, fill the trays up, pump it up, let the bacon cook, and when the bacon's done cooking, take the bacon out, and then let the bacon grease stay in the bottom of the drip tray, you know, and turn that thing back on, you know, anywhere from, I, I, I'd suggest 375, and then, you know, let it run for another, you know, 15, 20 minutes. That's gonna get some of that smell out of there, and all it is is what the manufacturer puts on to protect uh, some of that stuff. So don't worry about it. That was the biggest complaint on the Power Air Fryer Oven Elite when you first get it. So anyway, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and hit the uh, notification bell because I'm, I'm gonna be doing a lot of cooks on this thing. Um, and then I'm gonna do, uh, do an actual comparison side by side with the Power Air Fryer Oven Elite and see, are these things actually the same? I think they are, but um, yeah, anyway, make sure to do that. And um, yeah, I'll be doing a lot of more cooks on this and uh, we'll catch you on the next cook slash review. Thanks for watching.